to appease these people. They want three things. They want to purify their faith, kill every Christian they can find, destroy the state of Israel, and come after us. They're religious Nazis. Barack Obama has just given the most radical regime on the planet a pathway to a bomb, a missile to deliver it, and the money to pay for it. He's a traitor! No man is not a traitor, he just doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> How many of you think Iran is going to change for the better in the next 15 years? During the negotiation, they have cobbled four Arab capitals. The ink on the agreement is not dry. They put another American in jail. They have sent ground forces to Syria to disrupt our operations in Syria. And they have tested a missile that can reach Israel and our forces in Europe in violation of UN sanctions. And we haven't done anything about it. I hope you understand that it's just not about a Republican president. It's about someone who has the understanding, the background, the judgment, the determination to reset the world before it's too late. There are people on our side who are all good folks. Some say, let's manage this deal with Iran. I say, let's tear it up. I say that the only reason they haven't done more damage to the world as they just, just don't have the capability yet when they're going there. So ladies and gentlemen, I have never been more, more worried about another 9-11 than I am right now. The first thing I would do as your president is to tell the Iranians, if you want a peaceful nuclear power program, you can have it. If you want a bomb, you'll never get it.